What's up, world? This is ASAP Ferg, that Fergenstein. You never heard of mine. Um, I'm coming from Harlem right now. Well, when I was younger, I used to write poetry in English class. I guess that was another way to, to figure out like where the young people's minds were back then. And um, versus me just writing like regular about how my day was or how my morning is going, I would write poetry because I knew we was gonna have to go in front of the class and recite it. And I knew that was what made all the girls smile. So I just wrote that poetry and I would say it in the form of rap. So that's how I started rapping. I ain't even find ASAP. ASAP found me. Like it was Harlem. We was a bunch of young creative people. We kind of linked on each other when people looked down on us. We was all weirdos. They like, who are these weird motherfuckers in Harlem wearing these tight ass jeans, these Rick Owens? They don't know that we paid $2,000 for these sneakers and $500 for our t-shirts. What you talking about? We knew what we wore. We knew how, how to speak to each other. We knew how we had our own language. We all hung out downtown. And actually, Bari, Bari, the young Lord, he was like, yo, I got a crew called ASAP. He was like, yo, I want you to come fuck with us. like. You know, we, we be on the downtown scene. Like, basically shit that I'm into, shit that we do now, we been doing this shit. We been a crew, we wasn't even rapping, and we was just mobbing. You already know ASAP Ferg in the place to be. How that's my boy, it's my birthday. I'm just happy to be here, I'm God. I mean, I'm blessed, and I'm God. But um, check this out, though. Check the new Versace's out. We got the black faces, we were African-American for 2012. How that's my boy, ASAP Ferg, come on. Listen, yeah. I can be your e pill, better yet your e pill. When it comes to tricking me, pill, you say that my pipe is cracking, you know that I'm gonna get very ill. So I just penetrate and hit her with my needle. She needles, stay alive. Keep my crack in between her thighs when she smokes, she feel her high. Say it's good enough to make her cry. I think she need new lungs, cause my bitch she get. Hell yeah, I got an old ass soul, like. I swear, like, I'm a, I'm a fucking old-ass man, but this was, like, a young smile. But this is one of the reasons I don't listen to hip-hop. I don't listen to, like, unless, like, my friends play it around me or something like that, I'm like, oh, that's just fire. But I don't listen to rap music because I don't want to sound like nobody, and I don't listen to hip-hop because it, it doesn't give me that love. Like, I don't feel, like, that, that soul. Like, I was born and raised off of, like, you know, old music. So, like, I just love, like, the way that shit makes me feel. So I, I mix that in my music. Like when you see me, when you see me go in on Funkmaster Flex and you hear me singing and, and all of that shit, motherfuckers feel that shit and they be going crazy. He be dropping bombs on that shit because he feel that shit. He know where that shit come from. He may not know that I know where it come from, but he know that feeling when he hear it and he see it. So that's what I just want to convey to the people. <laughs> Basically, 100 Million Roses was my intro to like ASAP, to the game, to the world. Basically, it's slow. Like I did it in a slow monotone kind of like voice with the chopped and screw because I wanted motherfuckers to feel it. I ain't really want people to be dancing to it. I ain't want nothing. This stems from when I was younger because uh, my father, he was also, his name was also D. Ferg. He was uh, one of the founders of a clothing line called Ferg Apparel. Uh, he also did like all like the early logos and he was like the only guy printing shirts back in the days besides like Jewish people. Like he had a company printing shirts. He used to do all the bad boy stuff. So I was always around hip hop. Him and Puff used to come get me when I was in that like small like baby. I don't remember this stuff. They used to come get me, just take me shopping and all of that shit, buy me sneakers. I took over the printing business of my father like before he passed away. I'm carrying on a legacy like like he would, but like to the next level. 
like futuristic i'm all about like you know mixing the renaissance with like that like the future wave so like you will, you'll see like a lot of that stuff reflecting in my music that's just me i just i like i like to mix like all the generations and put them together so everyone will have this stuff to relate to and that's what i want to do i want to make everybody love again like i feel like you know all the little kids is running around fucking and shit but they're not making love no more so that's what i want to do i want to bring that love back to the game Hey yo world, this is ASAP Ferg. Shout outs to Blow TV. Shout outs to ASAP. Shout outs to the Maybachs. Make it laid back. Spray that. <laughs>